Well, check that out. Looks like we got a, uh, a little bloomin' succulent. Also, good morning from Eastern Texas. This is the furthest east I have driven in the eastward direction. For those of you who remember, and for those of you who don't haven't watched the videos or don't know, I picked up Dan the Adventure Bus on the East Coast and drove it across country. So, driving east, this is the furthest I've ever driven. Um, I'm currently at a rest stop, just parked next to all these truckers, and I have some news. First bit of news, I'm gonna jump on over to Florida as soon as possible. Uh, I have a family member who is ill. That's all, all I'll say right now. If he wants to share more details, I guess I can, I can say. Um, and my friend who wants to buy the bus is ready for the bus. So what I might do is just uh, as soon as I get over to Florida, spend some time over there, I might drive back and sell the bus back in Oregon. So, I might have bus number two sooner than I think. State of hope that you will return. It's what I got in the summer turn into fall. Very fascinating. I've actually never been this close to uh, refineries, and it looks like this is a 24-hour-a-day, uh, seven days a week uh, process here. Yeah, this is uh, Valero right here. You can see on the uh, the street sign right there. Summer, slight state of hope that you will return. It's what I got in the summer turn into fall. again but I made it to Louisiana uh, not really quite what I expected although I do know that this is a major oil area um, but yeah check out the clouds it's a nice windy beautiful spring day here so with selling the bus I will take a L <laughs> on the uh, 49 states 52 weeks uh, obviously last year I fell way off track um, so I'm just gonna scrap that idea um, and uh, I am thinking of other ways to travel uh, still in a bus obviously bus number two and uh, different ways to I don't know have like a thing to do while traveling like what's you know what's this thing I really like, you know, what I've been doing now is just going where the wind blows me. Um, but, um, you know, realizing that I have had so many wonderful people um, uh, help me out in different ways. I'm, I'm trying to think of ways that I could al also help out while being on the road or um, things like that. So, yeah, um, I'm sure tons of people have tons of ideas for me. So feel free to sprinkle them in the comments. Um, but otherwise, let's keep on heading into Louisiana.
the heck? <laughs> so I didn't realize this, but I'm getting on a ferry? That's awesome, I love ferries. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting on a ferry in Louisiana and I'm crossing some water here. It's a Cameron Holly Beach Ferry. Uh, I am very, I'm next to the uh, ocean over here, but good lord. Apparently, I get on a ferry. I had no idea this was coming up. Um, I'm on something called the Creole Nature Trail, and I'm heading from, obviously from Texas, going east, and uh, I have not seen a crocodile yet, and I'm really hoping to see one. Alligator. Same difference. Also, I have a couple people to thank who joined uh, Patreon. Uh, Bill Voss, thank you very much. And we have uh, Dave, and I think his screen name is uh, Na Naboli. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Actually, you know what I'm thinking. It's already 5.25 p.m. This looks like a very scenic, beautiful place. Could even be a fun time lapse. And I looked on uh, Google Satellites off to the right. It looks like there's a little place to park as well as over to the left. So I think I'm gonna call it a day and just park up here, do some editing, and uh, relax and enjoy the sunset. What is all this stuff? Looks like oyster shells. It could be. I'm not too familiar with this area. I know there are some oysters around here, but uh, I don't know how and if people catch wild oysters. I've only been to a uh, oyster farm before. So, uh, if anybody knows, feel free to sprinkle those comments uh, down below. But, uh, yeah, uh, this is going to be uh, home tonight. It just, I, you know, I was looking at it, and I just, whoa, what is that noise? Holy crap. I think it's the engine on that thing. Anyways, I was looking at this place, and I just said to myself, what a beautiful place. <laughs> What's my rush? So here I am, and I think, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be quite lovely. Um, I'm going to set up a uh, time lapse here because it's going to be awesome. It looks like there's more cars getting on that ferry, so perhaps I can get a cool sunset time lapse with the ferry going back and forth. Mm -hmm. 